I was in the pre-owned building at work for a used car lot and I saw him walking outside. It looked pretty terrible. It was all kind of just dirty. He was foaming at the mouth. He was stumbling, but I called to him and he actually walked right over. Very friendly. Came into the building. We got him some water. I have a soft spot for animals, so like seeing an animal in that condition, who knows how long he was out there. Um, he also looked like he was, you know, like I said, stumbling. I thought he got hit by a car because he was just a little bit out of it. He didn't have a lot of energy. You could tell that there was something wrong. I thought it was an ear infection because anytime he lifted his leg, he would fall over. But he was just such a nice dog. And I know these dogs get such bad reputations. So, like I said, I just couldn't, I couldn't put him back out on the street. When I met him, he actually came at an interesting time in my life. Like in a, from a personal standpoint, I was going through um, a very hard breakup. Um, it's funny how things like that happen. And then he comes in and I think, you know, he looked like he was hurting, I was hurting. And the initial thing was get him cleaned up, get him healthy, and then, a, and then have a shelter adopt him out. Was, whenever he put his head down, it looked like his depth perception. So if I like put a bowl of food down, for example, like when we put the water bowl down, he was like trying to get to the water bowl, but he was, it was weird. It was like he was going sideways and then eventually he'd get there. Um, the other thing was whenever he'd lift his leg up to pee, he'd fall. And then that's why I thought it was a inner ear thing because when I would like rub his ears, he'd really lean in and he did have two massive ear infections and we thought it was getting better once we cleared the ear infections but it, it wasn't that's when it was like okay i got either got to i got to bring him to a specialist um, i was really nervous because he kind of prepared me the minute he saw him he saw he like mentioned the that exact condition that he has i was hopeful that it wasn't that It hurt. I mean, it's it's just. I mean, sometimes you look at, you know, he's innocent. You know, in my opinion, like animals, kids, like that type of innocence is. It just. It's not. It's almost not fair. I mean, he's a great dog. He's very happy. He's very loving. He's the sweetest thing ever. And then you know, his life is going to be cut short due to something out of his control. So I was hoping that I'd have a, a nice, friendly dog for years, but at the same time, it. It teaches you gratitude. I guess it was meant for me and him to meet. I know he's getting worse, and I don't see it as much as other people because I'm around him every day. My one cat streets, like they're like best buds, which is so funny to me because he's a pit bull, and then the smallest cat is his best friend, and they're always sleeping together, and he plays with him, and you know, it's, it's fun to watch. He just loves people, loves visitors, you know, loves other dogs. He's a special little guy.